Hi, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead and Jack. And we're back for dinner. We're making baked Mexican goulash. We don't like goulash, seriously. All right, so because we pre cook our hamburger, I gotta teach you one thing, Jake. You never have it all the way over the flame. <coughs> so, the flame's over here too. Yeah, but you want it centered right over it, see? So it cooks everything. So, um, we're going to take our hamburger. We want to get it warmed up. And we're going to add some taco seasoning to it. And I think I know what I'll be making tomorrow. Because look. <laughs> I've been waiting for that to get empty. So I can just fill it back up in that. Then we're going to add a little bit of water. To mix that together. You can tell me if you need more. So we're going to mix this together. I use a little bit more. A little bit more water? Yeah. No. I'm not sharing my water with you. That's yeah. it. <laughs> he doesn't believe me. Now once you got it all mixed together, I'm going to turn it on a medium low so it can just kind of simmer while we're doing everything else we need to do. So I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Now in my bowl, I already have some boiled up egg noodles. So to that we're going to add one can of um, chili beans. Hey, Jack. Wow. Look at that. It's a miracle. <laughs> One can of Rotel tomatoes. No, 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 no. Goes in your, over with your noodles. Oh. And then because I'm weird and I don't follow directions very well, I'm going to add a half can of corn because I like it. That's how, just how it is. And then, we're going to do a half a cup of salsa. Everything but your black olives. Okay. Now, if you notice, we use, like, paste when we're cooking. Because when you do a half a cup and a cup and all that stuff, it uses up my fresh salsa way too fast. And so I use that for my, to, you know, like if we have tacos and nachos and all that stuff, Can't that's see. it. Yeah. So now you're going to mix all of that together. Ooh, la la. And I think before I go any farther... I want to make sure it's seasoned good. Let me stir up my hamburger here a minute. There we go. Alright. So just one second here. Bear with me. Because I'm just wondering if that's going to be enough spice. You know what I mean? Because you're not adding a whole bunch of stuff to it. So let me take a taste of that. Mm, okay. It's got a ting at the end there. <laughs> it's got a real good ting at the end. All right. So now the next thing you want to do, turn off your meat. And you're going to add it to your bowl. Go ahead. I'm going to get myself a bigger bowl. Well, you better get yourself a bigger bowl then. <laughs> it's all good, Jack. We're waiting for you. He just likes to make more dirty dishes for me. That's what that boils down to. But guess what? 
I made a mess of the stove today, Jack, so. <laughs> Guess what Jack gets to do? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the stuff I put up with you guys, I tell you. Put up with way too much crap from you, Jack. <laughs> Am I your best friend, Jack? Yeah, that's why I pick on you. Oh. That's why he picks on me? Do you guys hear this crap? That's why he picks on me. Alright, now you're going to mix all that together. Ooh. Mm. You guys, this is looking and smelling pretty darn good on the Jack. Yep. I'm used to doing like with my goulash lots of different spices so this is kind of strange for me. So I have another clean spoon. I'm just going to taste it because I'm just used to adding more. Mmm. <laughs> that was good. Oh, the beans. I have chili beans downstairs too. Actually. But I can. But they're getting very low, so I'm, I'm being sparingly with them. <laughs> Here you go, Jack. Now, we're going to dump everything into that. Into our 9 by 13 pan. I know I'm blocking the camera. Sorry, guys. Right, you can put that over there for me, if you would, please, Jack. All right, and then you're going to layer it out pretty good. You get to flatten and smash now, Jack. Hey, my favorite part. <laughs> that is his favorite part, too. <laughs> Alright, and then we have um, recanned green, be or green beans. Oh my gosh. My brain is off today, you guys, really. We have recanned black olives. And you're going to spread those all over the top. Yours don't have to be recanned. You can buy yours at the store. Just saying. Want yours, Jack? Reach yeah. behind you. All right, and now we can't have a casserole without cheese. So then you're going to cover this in cheese. I really can't wait to taste it. And Jack's going to cook with me tomorrow, aren't you, Jack? Yeah. Because we're going to make something really good that I've never made, and it just looks so delicious. Yep. And so I have to try it. And Jack's seen it, and he's like, okay. So Jack's cooking tomorrow, too. Here's some cheese. You might have to use the other one, too. I don't know. All right, so now my oven is preheated to 350, and you're going to want to put it in the oven for 40 minutes or until... The top is brown, and all the cheese is melted. So, we will be back. And unfortunately, Tom won't be here today or tomorrow for taste testing because he's doing 7 to 7. They're doing uh, inventory at his job. But at least he's getting hours because otherwise he wouldn't have been working. That would have sucked. <laughs> anyway, so I'll be back. Jack will be back, and then we'll taste test it. Alrighty, we're back. She's finished. Look delish. Alrighty. So me and Jack are going to try this. Oh, oh, oh. It's nice and steaming hot, fresh out of the oven. Alright, and then it says you can put um, sour cream on it. So I'm going to put a little bit of sour cream on it. You can put anything you want on it. It's your food. <laughs> Ouch. I just hit my toe. All right. You ready, Jack?
That is delicious, you guys. I thought for sure I'd have to add more spices to it, but I didn't have to. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. I think it'd actually be really good, too, even without the sour cream. So there you have dinner. Thanks for being with us. Have a blessed night. Bye. See you guys later.